Eating exotic foods is a good way of trying something new and breaking the monotony of your daily cheeseburger. However, some of these foods can be dangerous, sometimes even deadly. And today we're going to be looking at 10 of those exotic foods that can indeed be pretty deadly. Number one is such a popular dish that you wouldn't even think it can kill you. Stand by to find out what it is. Now with all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Aki Fruit In Jamaica, the Aki Fruit is a mixed blessing. Though originally native to West Africa, it migrated to Jamaica in 1778 and is now the country's national fruit. In fact, it is one of the main ingredients of Jamaica's national dish. That dish is called a key and salt fish, which is prepared with salt cod and sautéed onion, scotch, bonnet peppers, tomatoes, and boiled a key fruit. When prepared properly, the dish is perfectly safe to consume and enjoyed by many. If improperly eaten, however, aki can cause what has been dubbed the Jamaican vomiting sickness, which, other than the self-explanatory systems, can lead to coma or, well, death. Unripe aki fruit contains a poison called hypoglycin, so preparers must be careful to wait until the fruit's protective pods turn red and open naturally. Once open, the only edible portion is the yellow arilli, which surround always toxic black seeds. This thing is kind of like the fugu fish of fruit. Only one good part and the rest is gonna kill you. Number 9. The African Bullfrog Now, the African Bullfrog may not look very appetizing, but it is considered a delicacy in Namibia. In fact, bullfrog dishes can be considered the country's specialty. While it is pretty common to see people eating deep-fried frog's legs, in Namibia they bake them and eat them whole. While eating frogs is normally safe, the danger lies when eating the premature African Bullfrog. Eating these prepubescent frogs can lead to painful urinary inflammation caused by the millions of bacteria that they carry. And aside from that, some of these frogs carry a toxin in enough concentration that when eaten can lead to kidney failure. So if you find yourself craving for frogs, stay safe and go for the good old fashioned deep fried frog legs. Number 8. Cassava not really as exotic as other inclusions in this list, but still quite dangerous. Perhaps the most dangerous considering the toxin contained within it. Cassava, also referred to as yucca or manioc, or tapioca to us Americans, has become a popular flour alternative for making gluten-free breads. Sometimes the food is eaten similarly to a potato, but don't eat cassava unless it's been prepared properly. Cassava is a starchy root that flourishes in the tropical climates of Central and South America. It also flourishes in the Caribbean and West Africa, but it's more familiar to Americans in its dried and powdered form, tapioca. The plant is dangerously toxic when consumed raw because it contains cyanogenic glucosides which trigger the release of hydrogen cyanide. There have been many documented deaths from eating this deadly root. In 2005, 27 children died while 100 others were hospitalized from eating improperly prepared cassava roots, in their school of all places. Although most cassava poisoning incidents are easily treatable, the nearest hospital from the school was 30 kilometers away, making immediate care impossible. Cassava should be soaked and fermented for at least a day before it's cooked, but some sweet varieties of cassava inherently contain less cyanogenic glucosides and are safe to eat after simply cooking them thoroughly. But be careful which one you choose. Number 7. Kasu Marzu The most dangerous cheese in the world, Kasu Marzu is an Italian delicacy defined by its illegal status and the maggots that infest it. Kasu Marzu comes from the Italian island of Sardinia, located in the Mediterranean Sea. The cheese is made from sheep's milk and it takes some time to make, but the process itself is easy. When it's finished, a Kasu Marzu cheese should roughly contain thousands of maggots. If that isn't horrifying enough, you're supposed to eat this cheese while the maggots are living. Sardinian tradition holds that once the maggots are dead, the cheese is unsafe to eat. But the risk of eating maggots alive is that they may go burrowing into your stomach, which can cause a condition called enteric myalysis. This involves severe stomach cramps and nausea. Once ingested, it's possible for the maggots to pass through the human stomach without dying because sometimes stomach acids aren't enough to kill them. In that case, the maggots may take up residency in the intestines for some time. They can cause serious lesions and bore through intestinal walls, resulting in abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. Due to the blatantly obvious health implications, the EU European Food Safety Authority have banned the cheese. Therefore, those wishing to eat some Kazu Marzu must go through the Italian black market. Number 6. Blood Clams Blood clams, a type of clam of the species Tegalarga granosa. They got their name because they have red hemoglobin liquid inside their soft tissues. 
These clams are found throughout the Indo-Pacific region and are largely considered a delicacy, but they're actually pretty dangerous. Especially if you eat them in certain spots in Shanghai, where they are actually have been banned since 1988. Blood clams, or Maohan in Chinese, were responsible for a hepatitis A outbreak in Shanghai in 1988 when more than 300,000 people were infected and 31 died. Aside from that, experts say that 14-16% to of people who eat blood clams contract hepatitis A. The tainted blood clams came from Guidong in neighboring Jingasu province. There is a high prevalence of hepatitis A in some places where the clams are raised, with the water polluted by sewage. The style of preparation in Shanghai involves quick boiling them, which can leave behind deadly viruses and bacteria, including hepatitis, typhoid, and dysentery. Number 5. Hakarl Fermented shark, hakarl, or rotten shark as people often refer to it, is quite possibly the most famous dish in Iceland. The fermentation of shark meat can be traced back to the Viking Age, but this outlandish act of preserving food was just one of many steps Icelanders took to make sure they had enough to go on throughout the year. Today, fermented shark, or kastir hakarl as it is called in Icelandic, is simply a way for Icelanders to stay in touch with their roots and ancestry. However, some still consider it a delicacy and will go through real lengths in order to get their hands on some good proper hakarl. This is because if the matter is disassociated, the scent is what really makes it such a challenge to swallow. The craziest fact about the Icelandic fermented shark is that the Greenland shark, which is the prime meat used to produce it, is actually poisonous while fresh. This is due to a high content of urea and trimethalamine oxide in the shark's system caused by its utter lack of a urinary system. The shark basically releases urine throughout its bloodstream and tissues, which is considered a very primitive way to dispense. This showcases how little the development of sharks has been over the last 300 million years. Fermenting the meat does make it safe to eat, but if not properly fermented, you're going to get an extremely bad case of food poisoning. Number 4. Live Octopus When trying to eat something, one excellent rule to follow is to make sure that the animal you're eating is cooked, or at least dead. Never put something in your mouth that is still alive. But somehow this logic isn't being followed in certain parts of South Korea and Japan. Consuming live octopus, or San Nakji, can actually kill you, but it's not because the octopus can still fight back. San Nakji is a Korean specialty of live diced octopus tentacles seasoned with sesame oil and seeds. This dish is particularly treacherous because the suction cups on the tentacles are still active and can stick to the mouth or throat when swallowed, making it a real choking hazard. In April 2010, a South Korean woman collapsed and stopped breathing after eating a live octopus and died in a hospital 16 days later. Her boyfriend was convicted of murder, but eventually got the conviction overturned in the Supreme Court. Here is one exotic food that could not only kill you, but could land someone in jail as well for feeding it to you, so it's best to stay away from this one. Number 3. Monkey Brains Eating ox brains is one thing, although having dangers within itself is something of a guilty pleasure of some people. But I can't imagine eating the brains of another primate. No, it's not because of the zombie connotation or cannibalism part, it is because eating monkey brains can figuratively turn you into a monkey. Consuming the nerve tissues of mammals can be a health hazard, but eating the brain is especially dangerous. This is because it can lead to transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, also known as prion diseases or degenerative brain diseases. These diseases can progress rapidly and are often deadly. But before you ask the question, who in their right mind would eat a friggin' monkey brain? There actually are records of some cultures doing so. Monkey brains have been cooked as an ingredient in the dishes of some Chinese imperial cuisine. For instance, Paul Burel, the former butler of Princess Diana, claims he was served monkey brains on banana leaves and coconut palms in one of their visits. However, it is still debated and difficult to substantiate whether live monkey brains were one of the items in the Qing Dynasty Manchu Han Imperial Feast. Also, the Anyang tribe practices a tradition in which a new tribal chief would consume the brain of a hunted gorilla while another senior member of the tribe would eat the heart. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to take a look at a fruit that looks more like a sea urchin than any other fruit. But the real question here is, is it dangerous? Find out next. Number 2. The Rambutan Rambutan is a fruit native to Southeast Asia. It grows in a tree that can reach up to 80 feet in height and thrives best in tropical climates such as Malaysia and Indonesia and the Philippines. It got its name from the Malay word for hair because the golf ball sized fruit has a hairy red and green shell. Its unmistakable appearance is often compared to that of a sea urchin. The fruit is related to the lychee and logan fruits and has a similar appearance when peeled. Its translucent white flesh has a sweet yet creamy taste and contains a seed in its middle. 
It is very nutritious and may offer health benefits ranging from weight loss and better digestion to its increased resistance to infections. Its flesh provides around 1.3 to 2 grams of total fiber per 100 grams, very similar to what you would find in the same quantity of apples, oranges, or pears. It's also rich in vitamin C, a nutrient that helps your body absorb dietary iron more easily. This vitamin also acts as an antioxidant protecting your body's cells against damage. Eating 5 to 6 rambutan fruit will meet 50% of your daily vitamin C needs. Rambutan also contains a good amount of copper, which plays a role in the proper growth and maintenance of various cells, including those of your bones, brain, and heart. So, given all that, is rambutan a dangerous fruit to eat? Not in the slightest, unless you have the tendency to swallow seeds. Rambutan seeds are huge and swallowing them would definitely block air passages and choke you out. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe, within the next five seconds you'll get 10 years of amazing luck just try it it really worked number one the puffer fish remember when I talked about the fugu fish well let's get some flashbacks going here with so many delectable types of seafood available it's curious why anyone would pay hundreds of dollars to eat a fish that is so dangerous there are several species of puffer fish, but portions of all of them, especially the livers, contain tetrodotoxin, a toxin 1200 times more deadly than cyanide. In order to be certified to prepare puffer fish, known as fugu in Japan, where it's most often served, chefs must go through special training that can last up to three years. Despite the care that it takes to properly prepare puffer fish, there were still 23 deaths linked to its consumption recorded in Japan between 2000 and 2009. There is also an episode where Homer prepares an underprepared fugu fish and believes he's going to die. This is a very heavy-handed episode and goes to show just the severity of what can happen, though thankfully he does survive at the end of the episode. Which dangerous foods are you willing to try yourself? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about dangerous things? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.